was in my early 20s. Health and fitness really went out the window. I didn't, uh, didn't think it was important. I thought I was invincible. I was finding myself um, aching from head to toe, struggling to get out of bed in the morning. I was 170 odd, 176 kilos, and you don't actually realise, because you think you can, oh, it's okay. No worries, no worries. I'm doing what I need to do. I'm making sure the kids are being looked after. I'm making sure, but when you really look at it, when you're not looking after yourself, you're not looking after anybody. I was a very sad, self-conscious, unhappy person. I wasn't very fit, I wasn't very healthy, I wasn't providing my body with any nutrition at all. My four-year-old at the time said to me that um, he started calling me Big Daddy and, um, you know, it really cut me up fairly deep uh, that my son even knew that I was overweight. I went to my very first isogenics event, which was Celebration in Brisbane. And whilst I was there, they introduced the ISO Body Challenge. I'd not heard about it. I've got a really competitive nature. And when they had the finalists that came up on the stage, I was like, I can so do that. When I would go out with friends, I would feel really self-conscious and embarrassed. And I just labelled myself the fat friend. I decided that I needed to make a change. And my next door neighbour introduced me to isogenics. Deep down, I'd been asking and asking for help. You know, and it comes in many different shapes. And this time it came in my youngest brother, Zara, and, and um, I hadn't seen him for years, and we were catching up. And I was so excited to see him, and I got to see him, and he come up, and it, I could see the disappointment in his eyes straight away. And he says, you're fat. And um, inside it, it really <laughs> broke my heart. I was amazed, I dropped 13 kilos. I thought it was too good to be true. I thought I must have um, found a wonder drug or something. And then I stepped up to another president's pack and I dropped another six and a half kilos. So I was nearly down 20 kilos. I love running because it's like a meditation for me. I put the running shoes on, I put the headphones in and I just go, there's no worries in the world. So part of my training for um, the Ice Body Challenge it was uh, focusing on running the city to surf. And I won the over 50s. I took out the record for the over 50s. I was 55 years old and I had beaten every 20 year old girl over the line. These products are just, they're amazing. I couldn't train that first month. I was too big. And then going into the end of the 16 weeks, nothing was stopping me. I was training every single day. I was setting myself goals, daily goals, and wanting to achieve it day by day and right up to the end to when I finished it and standing on that last day looking at what I achieved, I actually couldn't believe it. I, I couldn't believe that I'd lost 53 kilos because people look at it and go, are you crazy? Did you did that? But I did. So in the 16 weeks, I really wanted to achieve more self-confidence because I knew that was something that I was really lacking. And I also wanted to lose a certain amount of weight and increase my training and, you know, just become fitter. The challenge really gave me that motivation to keep going and to stay on track. My life's changed since the Ice Body Challenge for the fact that I'm not just fitter, stronger and more confident in my lifestyle. I'm able to support and help a lot of people out there that used to have the same issues I did, being overweight if you've never been there, is hard to deal with. And for me to be able to motivate people and push them in the right direction is a great motivator for me to continue on with my journey. If I could do this, running the business that I run, with the stress that goes alongside of that, anyone can do this. I feel really good about my body now. I'm so self-confident. I've literally, in 23 years, I've never been this weight in my whole life and I've never looked like this. And you know, it's such a proud feeling to look in the mirror and be a completely different person. I had found myself. I'd found the person that I was meant to be, you know. The person that always has a smile on his face. The person that wants to represent other people and help other people grow and um, be a role model to help others. And this is what Ice Body Challenge has given me.